everyone DJ Eddie here I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on the feature in virtual DJ known as ask the DJ I get requests on how to get this set up so this tutorial will be on how to set up ask the DJ which is a feature that allows guests at events to be able to text you a song request which that song request gets dropped directly into a folder known as ask the DJ in your virtual DJ program I think that's a really neat feature the song the you know the song request just goes directly into a folder on your virtual DJ now the first steps you want to do to get this set up is to log into virtual DJ first so log into your virtual DJ first log into your account get that all logged in once you're logged in then open up virtual DJ you're gonna scroll down to virtual DJ make sure to go in folders go into lists and advice and then uh, you're going to see this purple folder right here called Ask the DJ. Right click that and hit Setup. Now let me go back to Virtual DJ. And we're going to unhighlight Ask the DJ. I'll show you what I mean by that here shortly. So now uh, when you uh, right click on the Ask the DJ folder and you hit Setup, it'll take you to this page. Now this page. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. You want to give it a name. That's for venue name. I just like using DJ Eddie Bobby. Um, you can, uh, you know, have it uh, have your privacy, yes or no. You can also include a logo. I like to use, uh, you know, my face right there. So that's Eddie Bobby right there. Logo. You can use your business logo, whatever that might be. Uh, you also have uh, the option of inputting your Facebook page here. Now. Um, you can accept tips if you want. Just remember when you set up tips, you want to include this option here, the zero. Make sure to include zero because the zero gives the guests the option of being able to tip you or not. If you didn't have the zero there, then when they go make a request online, they will be forced to select one of these monetary amounts that you have selected for the guests. Uh, you know for them to be able to make requests they would have to select one of those monetary amounts that you set so make sure to include the zero zero is very important so that way they can um, make a request uh, without having to tip you for that request and then you hit save once you hit save it'll bring you back to the top of that page and this is your link right here so depending on what name you choose I choose DJ Eddie Bobby this is what it will look like when the client makes a request so um, uh, the client would enter to their name. Let's say it's Tom, and Tom wants a request for Runaround Sue. So, um, got Runaround Sue. You're going to send that request, and you can see this confirmation page here. Now, uh, let's say this is Nikki. Nikki wants a request for Usher. Yeah. So we're going to hit that send. Boom. And then we're going to go back here. Let's delete our name. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and close that out. Oh, but first off, make sure to copy your, your, your link here. This is going to be important for later on. So make sure to copy that. Control A, Control C. Make sure to copy that. Let's close this out. Now we're back in Virtual DJ. Oh, look. While I was uh, working on the client's uh, request list here, I find out that uh, some guests have made some requests. I have two requests I haven't addressed yet. So I'm going to hit Ask the DJ. There you go. There's your request. Now they got some neat features here. You could double click on it and then boom. If, as long as you have that song and that artist in your selection, they will come up right here and you just drag and drop and look at that. Bang. You could play it. It's real easy. Same thing with Run Around Sue. Uh, there you go. Dion, Run Around Sue. Here's my stuff. So the feature is pretty cool. Let's say if you play the request, you can right click it and remove it. Okay, I played these two requests. I'm going to remove them. Now this is a real neat feature here, reply. You can actually send a message right right back to, uh, who was this, Tom. And uh, you can hit a reply and you can tell them, uh, uh, you know, thanks Tom. You know, song coming, coming in the next. To, uh, next two songs so you can send that back to Tom and that message will be sent to, to that same page that he has set up 
already on his browser. So let's go ahead and remove that. Let's close out a virtual DJ. So that's how you set up Ask the DJ a virtual DJ. Now, uh, why I said it was important to set up the QR code to copy that link is uh, you want to go to a, uh, an, a QR generator. Oops, wrong way. QR. I'm a little dyslexic. So we need a QR generator. I uh, went with um, oh, uh, this, these guys right here. So you can go here, you can hit Control V, paste your link there, and then you can generate your QR code. See how easy that is? Uh, once you get this all set up, uh, once you, and you download your QR code, then you can go into either Microsoft Word or Pages, depending on what platform you're using. And then uh, you can make an 8x10 or 8.5 by 11 size uh, sheet here uh, for sign. I made this up. And you can see it's pretty basic, pretty simple. I just dragged and dropped the, uh, the photos uh, in there. And uh, then I print this out and I slide this inside a sign that's set up right next to DJ booth. Once again, the Ask the DJ feature in Virtual DJ allows me more time to be able to concentrate on my mix sets without being interrupted by guests who want to make a request. Uh, if a guest comes up, I just point to the uh, sign and then they go ahead and scan it and make their request. Once again, it gets real annoying having to stand there and have a client or a guest uh, shout in your ear what they want to hear next. And uh, that gets really annoying to me, especially during these times during COVID. Uh, last thing I want is people spitting in my ear. So uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, this feature again is known as Ask the DJ and Virtual DJ. If you have any questions, this uh, ask your question in the comments section. I'll be glad to jump on it for you guys as soon as possible. Thank you for listening and have a good one.